Almost a hundred years passed from the early forms of color photography to the mass distribution of color film. In the 1930s, color reversal films could be purchased for the first time in the U.S. and in Germany. At that time, 36 images, including laboratory development, still cost the equivalent of a good $50. Most of the pictures were taken by wealthy amateurs. Many results of the new color process became hidden icons in the family archive, which was only opened for rare occasions and was often stored unused for decades. And now if America's new spacecraft succeeds in reaching Venus, we will have literally weeks to start before midnight tonight. This is a breathtaking pace. And such a pace cannot help. Most photographers were men. People of color were rarely to be seen in early photo slides. The cultural memory of color photography is predominantly white and wealthy. Nevertheless, we owe these photographers almost timeless impressions of an era in which there was no virtual simulation yet, in which people were present only in their real physical environment. The telephone was still a privilege, and the world population was less than a third of today's figure. <laughs> 